Hey guys, Bill here. You know, in this series, we've covered all sorts of epic Amazon river monsters, like those big black piranha, those dangerous looking vampire fish, freshwater sharks, even those gigantic arapaima that you guys like so much. Today, we're heading deep, deep into the Amazon to a place you can only reach by float plane. And that's because this time, Steve Townsend and I are looking for something really special. Today I'm going to take you to find one of the most dangerous river monsters there is, the electric eel. Now I'm a little bit nervous about this, and to be honest with you, I'm a little bit scared too, because they're known to kill people. You wait till you see this. Electric eels, as it turns out, aren't actually eels. They really come from the knife fish family, which are closer to carp and catfish. They're air breathers that like to inhabit the swamps and creeks around here, and that's where Steve starts his hunt. They are not, they're coming down by the boat. No, they're here, they're here. These eels we're looking for can grow up to 8.2 feet or about two and a half meters. They can weigh up to 44 pounds or 20 kilos. According to some sources, they can put out an electric jolt up to 900 volts, which is more than enough to stop a human heart. In this case, a Kaiman thought it might go for an electric eel dinner, but the eel used a full jolt to show the Kaiman its fatal mistake. This is unbelievable. Damn it. He just got off. Joao, there might be fish in No, there no. No, he said no, there's no more fish in here. Looks like we scared him off a little bit. So we're gonna make our way out. Uh, I've got another place to show you. So let's go there now. Joao, vamos ver o outro lugar. We got a few more surprises. Let's go. Look at that bit. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there, there's another one there. Look at that lamb, it could be six foot, that one there. Now there's a whole bunch of different ways to actually catch an electric eel. For example, this Indian tribe likes to lure the eel into a small pool of water that they poisoned with a special vine. The famous fisherman Jeremy Wade likes to use a lasso. And Steve has still yet another way to do it. That's it, just a little bit of hook. One way not to catch him is like this. In this video, the fisherman learns the hard way that it's not a good idea to stand in the water while you try to catch an electric eel. Luckily, his friends pulled him out of the water before he drowned. He survived unhurt. Right then, which eel should we catch? There's about 10 to 15 eels here. And they just pop up and they come back down again. Oh, look at the friggin' size of these things. Go for it, go for it. He's got it, he's got it. Okay. Oh, I missed it. Big gulp of air then. There's got to be four or five, then. Jump again. Will it jump in a boat by any chance? Say again? Would, would it, could it jump in a boat? No, I won't jump in a boat, but it'll shock the boat, so make sure you've got your rubber shoes on. We do. Okay, good. And the next one that pops up, I'm gonna cast it. Mm. Uh, there we go. Whoa, whoa. Look at the size of this one. Whee! Yeah. <laughs> That's a big fish. <laughs> Dude, yeah, can you check the heartbeat? Yeah, it'll be a one-fingered response, I'm afraid. Now that we see it up close, look how small those eyes are. That's because electric eels don't use their eyes very much. Instead, they use electrical impulses as radar to move around and even hunt prey. Now the trick will be getting them off the hook without getting shocked. I guess we should have brought rubber gloves, but then again, why spend money on that when a twig will do the job for free? 
Smash that. Yeah. And he's gone. Gone, gone, gone. Gone, gone, gone. Stay away from the boat. Amazon River Monster. And that could kill you. On the way home, we stopped to get some underwater footage of electric eels at this creek we found. We wanted to see better how they move themselves around so well without a big tail fin. Now look on the bottom of this guy here. You see these fantails that run along the bottom of the eel? These are actually very long anal fins used to propel the fish. Now, depending on how they're used, they can propel the fish forward, in reverse, up, and down. Very efficient and very cool. Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video. I wanna thank Steve for taking so much time to show us those amazing creatures. And I wanna pop a little quiz on you guys. You ready? Okay, now here's the question. When it comes to electric eels, which part of the electric eel's body can put out a bigger jolt of electricity? Can it do it from the head? or from the tail because one of them is stronger. Let me know what your answer is in the comments section below and then email me for the official answer, okay? Just send your emails to billschannel at gmail.com and in the subject, put electric eel, okay? That's all you gotta do. And now, here's a little sneak peek at what's coming up next in this series. Tired of him coming up, coming up the beach every time I'm trying to do my teeth. <laughs>